Hi, I'm Don, installer and general manager of Windows and More. Today we're going to take an opportunity to show you how we replace a window in stucco without any stucco damage. So let's go check it out. Here we are at an actual install, one that we're going to perform today. In order to maintain the original vapor barrier that's between the stucco and the existing window, we're going to put a new window in uh, without taking the old frame out. All we're going to do is remove the movable sash and we're going to remove the fixed sash. We're going to take some aluminum out in order to achieve a perfect fit. Now, with that said, my primary goal is to maintain the existing amount of glass that you have as much as possible. And quite frankly, that can't be done by taking shortcuts or taking the easy way out. So the first thing I want to do is show you a little bit about the measure. And what I'm looking for in the measure is what aluminum can I remove without actually removing the main part of the frame. And in this case, I'm going to remove a bottom uh, piece of the, the frame that protrudes past the stucco. So as you can see, it sticks out from the building about a little over a half an inch. So by taking this off in the beginning, I'll be able to achieve a much tighter fit to the stucco. The second thing is I'm looking for fins that I can remove easily without having to grind them off, leaving a whole bunch of debris and dust in your house and around your house. So this fin right here is over a half inch wide and I'll be able to remove those two, one on each side, and make your window actually an inch bigger than most or probably any other company is going to do. We're gonna get some tools out here and go ahead and take your old window out and get started, get it ready for the new window. Okay, now that we've removed your old window and we've cut back the frame slightly on the bottom and we removed the side fins to make an opening a little bit bigger and still not disturb the stucco, we're ready to put in your new window. Okay, now that we've installed your new window, you can see that it's now square by the reveal between the movable sash and the frame. So the other thing we need is the sealant between here and the building. So you can see the sealant is there, but we want it to look as good as possible. Now this is where other companies will go and put their bead of regular old latex caulking because it's water-based and they can clean it up easy and it's fast and then tell you to go ahead and paint and then this is also where some companies might even use a clear silicone which is not paintable so it looks good for a short while then all the dirt collects to it and you got this uh, dark brown stain around the window that you can see from the street so what we're going to do is we're going to tape off the frame and then we're going to tape off the stucco and then we're going to tool in a sanded polyurethane designed specifically for this application and then if you choose to paint it even though it'll match the window you can paint it the color of the building if you'd like uh, we don't typically do that because then we've got to wait six or seven days before we can come back that's how long it, it takes before you can paint it um, with that said let's go ahead and get this sealed up and make it look like uh, like it's new.
okay, now we've moved our operation inside. And this is where the fruits of our labor uh, will really pay off. Okay, now, I've pre-cut this piece to length, just in the interest of time. Now, when I apply it, what I'm looking for is that the reveal between the frame and the new trim remains consistent all the way down. When putting the win window in plumb and square, it's rare that it's going to line up perfectly all the way around. So you may often have to scribe the trim to the wall to keep that reveal consistent. Um, that's one of the things that I'm a, kind of a pet peeve about and it's really what separates us from the rest. So as you can see, it has a 3M self-adhesive back. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Just firmly pressing it in place. And then this gap here will get caulked with caulking. It'll also help hold it to the wall. Now I just do the rest and that'll complete the trim on the inside. Okay, so now I've trimmed the inside for you and we have a small bead of caulking to put around to just give it that little finishing touch. Then we're gonna clean the windows, put the screen in, and then fill these holes with a vinyl cap designed to cover the mechanical fasteners that were used to secure the window in place. And then uh, we're on to the next window. Well, that's all there is to it. I hope we've given you enough information to make an educated decision. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me. <laughs>